there's not a hope I'll do a sub three. I was intended on going for a three ten, and mm. he kind of talked me into it. I suppose he said, "You've done one twenty four, go for it. What's the worst that can happen?" And um, yeah, and I went for it. Now it it was hard, it was tough, and I I fought to get that two fifty nine that day. You know, it wasn't easy, yeah. but um, but yeah, I did. And then this year I ran Berlin, um. And I think this year I changed it up a bit. I started adding in easy runs myself. So I was meeting the group um, on a Tuesday night and on a Thursday night and for the long run. And then I started throwing in a few easy runs myself. And I think that made the difference this year of, I know it was only a three minute, three minutes faster. I did 256 in Berlin, but I think those easy runs made that run a lot easier. It seemed. Um, Absolutely. And at, and at that end, like two know. minutes is quite a lot at that end as well. Yeah, like but I mean, it, I, I I felt like it wasn't as much of a struggle to get that 256 as it was to get the 259 the year before. I felt a lot more comfortable. Do you think it's because yeah. you've done three runs for the first year or two and then you've added in hill repeats, then you've added in the, the devil's bit mountain and then you've added in the easy runs. You slowly keep adding stuff into your training block. Had you done all that back in 2019 or 2018, do you think you would have just crashed with too much going on and like that people are rushing to do too much straight away? Or do yeah. you wish you had done some of that stuff earlier? No, I don't. I like the way I've added to it gradually. I think you need to build it up slowly and over time. I don't think, I think your body can break down very easily. I don't think I would have been able for all that so soon after having a baby. I wouldn't have been able for it. I wouldn't have been able to run the devil's bait so soon after having a baby. No way. <laughs> I think I, yeah, gradually adding it in and gradually building up the mileage. And like this year for Berlin, I started off with maybe adding in a fourth run and then a fifth run. And then by just before Berlin, I was doing six runs a week do you know but I built it up very gradually like my maximum mileage I think was 62 miles was my peak week do you know it was I wasn't doing huge mm -hmm. mileage but um but I was maybe running maybe I hadn't done much slow run maybe I was doing my session on a Tuesday hard my session on a Thursday hard my long run maybe a little bit too hard and then I started adding in easy ones which I hadn't done before and I think that really helped um, just to build that aerobic base. Yeah. Um, you, I've noticed actually a few people in the podcast lately that, that like yourselves are getting that sub three. It seems to me that's the point where people change talking about kilometers to miles per week. And I start doing the maths in my head. So that's roughly yeah. like 100 kilometers a week. Yeah, and I never work <laughs> kilometers. I don't have a clue. I, when someone tells me a pace, I'm like, what's that in miles? What's that in miles? Yeah. <laughs> You've always been miles. Like, oh, that. it's been miles. Yeah, I think it's easier. Oh, okay. to, it's easier to tick off twenty six miles than it is forty two <laughs> kilometers. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> For me, I just prefer to watch beeping more often. It feels like it's <laughs> <a> progress. <laughs> Actually, that was the thing in Berlin. Everything was the kilometers. They didn't have the mile markers. It was all kilometers, which was different. We have unintentionally had this debate with a couple of different uh, guests in the podcast over the last couple of weeks. Um, Berlin versus Dublin. We had um, Michael Fox, the podcast, he talked about how Berlin was flat. He didn't yeah, know it I that well. That. Yeah. He knows crowds. And and then we had um, Ian is yeah. running on the podcast and he mentioned how it's flat, it's boring, whereas Dublin, you know everyone and it, it gives you an extra little boost. Um, maybe I've got that. No, I have got the other way. So he loved Berlin. So he, okay, he loved yeah. Berlin. He absolutely loved Berlin because of the crowds and you know Kipchoge and all is there yeah. and all the elites, the best, the best are there. And uh, where do you lie in that with a, with a Berlin versus Dublin having doing doing both of them and doing a sub three in both of them? Um, I think. Okay, I love Dublin. I love the crowds and everything in Dublin. I think there's nothing like the crowds in Dublin and the atmosphere in Dublin. But I think I, I did love Berlin this year, probably because I had a good time, do you know? <laughs> had, it gone, had it gone horribly wrong, I mightn't be saying this. But um, I did find it a bit overwhelming. I think I had done Dublin, um, I had ran Amsterdam and I had ran Cork and I had no idea of the, the, the sheer crowds that I was going to meet, you know, that were going to be there in Berlin. 